ரோயல் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் ஹால் on our left wow is the team silver team silver ஷ்மல் போர்ட்ஸ் tower clock inside i think this is the royal festival all okay it's picking them up in the festival here i need to learn them we see them bathing and yeah. stuff wow they're yeah. in the summer <laughs> tiny tiny piece of beach sorry let's just come to south africa oh there's actually a time yeah, yeah there's a time the romans romans yeah the when the romans began and <laughs> ஒன்ட்ரீட் <laughs> 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 This is a place called the South Bank and it's pretty much arts and entertainment. You'll see the large concrete construction with the big illuminated billboard. That's our national theatre. It's one of the finest theatres you'll find anywhere in the UK. This scene, look, at this point in our journey, if we take a look ahead of us, we can get a great idea of what London is going to look like in the future. If it happened in 10 years' time, you will hardly recognise it. It will look completely different. London's a large grey dome, Golden Cross, St Paul's Cathedral. Sir Christopher Wren's masterpiece, completed in 1710. It took 35 years to build. From ground level to the top of that Golden Cross, It stands 365 feet tall. That is one foot for every day of the year. That dome is the second largest unsupported cathedral dome anywhere in the world. The largest is on St. Peter's in the Vatican City of Rome. Now lots of famous people are buried in the crypt of St. Paul's, including the Iron Duke, the Duke of Wellington. Alexander Fleming, he discovered penicillin. Lord Nelson, he's buried in there, and of course the architect himself, Sir Christopher Wren. You get another view of that, of course, as we pass beneath these bridges. These bridges are the Blackfriars group of bridges. The area immediately to our left is actually Blackfriars. There was once a Dominican monastery. It stood inland to our left, and all the monks in the monastery, they wore black bridges. habits they became known as the black friars i'm sure you've heard of black friars train station but as we go beneath these bridges for a moment we're going to take our attention over to our right and here to our right is an area called bankside and this is an up and coming area with tourism here in london over the last 10 years that large any money at all to have a look around which probably says quite a lot about the exhibits they're showing inside. <laughs> If you really want to see unmade beds, you see yourselves, thousands of people visit here every single day. It's completely rejuvenated the entire area. But of course, it wasn't always like this. Bankside 
was once the red light district of London. Here to our right, it was notorious for bear baiting pits, cock fighting pits, and changing rooms before performing in the Globe Theatre, which stood very close by. Just behind that, there's a good standard food, lovely beer. It's a nice place to spend six or I mean, two or three hours. I used to go to the anchor, I like draw. Yeah, this is one of the oldest places of worship in this part of England. Parts of this very building date back to the 12th century. Inside there, you'll find the Harvard Chapel, and that was named after a man called John Harvard. He was born and baptized here. In 30 English pounds, you can go up in a lift, it'll take you to the 77th floor, and when you get up there, they let you look out of a window. Two restaurants and a bar up there. Okay. And the best part about all of that is to go up there and have a look. It's completely free. You don't pay any money at all. So with that £30 you just saved from not going up the shaft, <laughs> you can buy yourself a little to explore. Alongside the Belfast, we have a visitor. I don't know much about it. We have ships visiting. Um, all the time throughout the summer. Uh, this wasn't here yesterday. I've come to work today and there she is. She hit the bridge in front of thousands of people. Since then, we believe it's worked perfectly well every time. Now, folks, once you've finished taking your photographs, please return to your seats. That means everybody can see, including me. At least I can see one crashing.